Hey everybody, it's Keegan here. I'm back with another video for you guys. And today I'm back with another collection video for you guys once again. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did an updated look on my Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray collection. And now it's time to do an updated look on my DVD collection. So, I have a total of 330 blu I mean DVDs to show. And much like my recent Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray video, I'm not going to go into too much detail on every single uh, DVD that I have because that's just going to take too long and I have quite a bit of titles on DVD. And before we uh, before we get started, let's do a quick overview of everything that I got. So right here is the same DVD shelf that I've had for years. We're going to go from, from the top all the way down to this drawer here. And we also got my DV my TV shows that I have on DVD that I have uh, over there with the uh, Blu-rays and 4K Blu-rays and some of my VHSs. I put those over there because I can't fit them all on this shelf. So uh, yeah, so that's that. So anyways, let's not waste any more time and uh, let's get started. So we're going to start off the very top of the, of the first shelf with my box sets. I don't have very many box sets as much as I do with my Blu-rays. So the first one we got here is the Alien and Predator Total Destruction Collection with Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Predator 1 and 2, and both Alien vs. Predator movies. Uh, not a bad box set. It looks pretty good. I'd like to upgrade these, all these on Blu-ray at some point, except for maybe the Alien vs. Predator movies. Those movies aren't all that great in my opinion. Next up is the Clint Eastwood 35 Films 35 Years collection with uh, all these movies listed here. I do own some of these movies individually, but I have them, but I still have this box set anyways. It's a pretty nice box set. And then we got the Ali G Show, the complete series. And we got. The Hunger Games Complete 4 Film Collection with the first four movies except for the new one. Haven't actually seen the new one yet. I heard it's pretty good though. And the last one for the box sets we have Six Feet Under the Complete Series. One of my all time favorite shows. That show is phenomenal. If you haven't seen it definitely check it out. So anyways those are the box sets. Now onto the first row. Alright so on the first row we have Pi. American History X, one of my favorite movies aside from the serious subject matter. And American Werewolf in Paris, that's a guilty pleasure. I actually enjoyed this one. It's a bad movie, but it's so bad it's entertaining in that kind of sense. But yeah, I actually didn't mind that one. Amelie, great movie. I'd like to get that one on Blu-ray at some point. That's a great movie. Armageddon. Baby Boy, that's a good one. Bachelor Party, Bad Lieutenant. I know this one's going to be getting a uh, Blu-ray release from Kino Lober uh, next month. And I think it might be getting a 4K release too, I believe. I can't remember, but I know this is getting a new release on Blu-ray next month, I believe. Then we got the Bad News Bears, the original. Bad Education, a pretty good Pedro Amadovar movie. Bad Teacher. The Beach, not a bad movie. Uh, Beautiful Mind. Beavis and Butthead to America. Beverly Hills Ninja. It's a little stuck. Baghead, an alright movie. Wasn't the best. Beer Fest. Before Night Falls, Birth, that's a pretty weird one, Black Limousine, a double feature DVD with The Blair Witch Project and Book of Shadows Blair Witch 2, Borat, classic, Broken, Broken Flowers, that's a pretty good uh, Jim Jarmusch movie. Brooklyn's Finest, not a bad movie. I'll just keep that one out because it's a little tight here. Blindness. K 
Cabin Fever, the original. Uh, fun movie. Stay away from the 2016 remake, though. Catch me if you can. Pretty good uh, Steven Spielberg movie. Castaway. Wilson! Cass Hearn. Uh, I bought this one a while ago. I actually still haven't seen it yet. This was a blind buy. Hopefully it's good. Carlito's Way, Rise to Power, which is the direct-to-video sequel, I mean, prequel to Carlito's Way. I have Carlito's Way on Blu-ray. Haven't seen that one yet. Carlito's Way is a great movie. I've seen that one, though. The Crying Game. I enjoyed that one. Club Dread, the unrated cut, which I believe is hard to find on DVD. Cube, great Canadian horror movie. Choke. And Clerks. And Clerks 2. Both of those movies are hilarious. I don't have Clerks 3 yet, but I'll try to get that one eventually. Although I hear that one's not as good as the first two, but I'll, I'll still check it out one day. And the last one for this row... Crime plus punishment in suburbia. And that's it for the first row. Now on to the second row. Alright, so on the second row we have Criminal. I'm just gonna put that there. Dance of the Dead. Dancer in the Dark. Eh, I wasn't a fan of this one. Eh, it was okay. I don't know. I just I just wasn't a fan of it. Dead Alive, probably one of the rarest DVDs that I own. That's a fun movie. Dead Calm. Death at a Funeral, that is the British one. Death Sentence. Death to Smoochie, that is a really underrated comedy. I actually really enjoyed this one. This one was hilarious. Danny DeVito not only co-starred in it, but he also directed it. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed this one. This one was funny. Defendor, another fun one. It's a Canadian movie, too. Defiance. Dickie Roberts, former child star. Dogville. Dogma, another Kevin Smith one. This one's funny. Dr. T and the Women. The Dreamers, the NC-17 version, which is pretty hard to find. It's a pretty good movie. I'd like to rewatch that one at some point. Dreamcatcher, it's an alright movie. Not the best. Drugstore Cowboy, I know this one has a Blu-ray release. I'll probably pick that one up eventually. Uh, good movie. This was Gus Van Sant's debut film. And one of, uh, one of Heather Graham's first movies that she acted in, too. Another Gus Van Sant film, Elephant. Mm, it was okay. I wasn't a fan of that one either. Drugstore Cowboy is a good movie, though. Elizabeth. Empire Records. Awesome movie. Enemy at the Gates. Existence. Underrated sci-fi sci movie from David Cronenberg. I enjoyed that one. That one was fun. Factory Girl. Here's another rare one, The Fall. Great movie. I uh, really enjoyed this one. It's so hard to find, though. I don't know why. This one definitely deserves a Criterion release or something. I don't know, but this is a very good movie. I really enjoyed that one. Falling Down. I'd like to upgrade that one to Blu-ray at some point. Great movie. Fast Food Nation. Eh, it was okay. Fast Company. Another David Cronenberg one. Pretty good. Flags of Our Fathers, Fubar 1 and 2, uh, both uh, great Canadian comedies, they're pretty fun. The only downside with this DVD is that there are no bonus features, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep this DVD as a placeholder until I get the individual releases that have the bonus features. But yeah, that DVD will do for now, but again, those movies are fun. Fracture. Frailty, Frida, From Hell, Fur, An Imaginary Portrait of Diane Arbus, Fighting, 
the final cut, Final Destination, Final Destination 2, and the last one for the first row, Final Destination 3. And on the first DVD of the next row, we have The Final Destination. Um, they're good movies, although the, f the fourth one is definitely the worst one, but oh well. But anyways, that's it for the second row. Now on to the third row. On the third row, like I said, the first one on the, the third row is the Final Destination. I do have Final Destination 5 on Blu-ray. Fool's Gold. Funny Games, the remake. I haven't seen that one or the original. Garden State. Eh, it was okay. I wasn't a fan of that one. It wasn't all that great, in my opinion. Get Him to the Greek, which is the sequel to, uh, what was it? Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Gia. The Girl Next Door. The Gift. Goodwill Hunting. Not a bad movie. I just think it's a little bit overrated in my opinion, but it's not bad. It's just, again, I just find it a little overrated. God's End. Gold Member, Austin Powers. I need to get the first two at some point. I just haven't got around to getting those. I just have the third one. Mm, it's good. Not as good as the first two, though, but it's still pretty good. Grandma's Boy. That's a fun one. Gran Torino. Get off my lawn. Great movie. I'd like to get that one on Blu-ray at some point. Speaking of ones that I would like to upgrade to Blu-ray, here's Gremlins and Gremlins 2. Both hilarious movies, but I think I like the first one better than the second one. But both of those are fun. I'd like to upgrade those to Blu-ray at some point. Then we got The Grudge, The Grudge 2, and The Grudge 3. The first one's the only good one in that set. I haven't seen the original, though. I'd like to get that one at some point. Here's another rare one in my collection, Gummo. That's a pretty weird one. Hairspray, the original, and the remake from 2007. Uh, the remake's pretty good, but not as good as the original. I like the original better. The original is a, is a pretty good uh, John Waters movie. I do like John Waters. Here's another rare one in my collection, Happiness. Great movie. Kind of a fucked up movie, but it's still really good. It's hard to find, too. I'm surprised it doesn't even have a Blu-ray release. That one really needs to get a Blu-ray release. Hopefully, one day, Criterion or someone will give it a re-release on Blu-ray that it deserves. Well, it doesn't even have a Blu-ray release yet, but anyways. Half-Baked. Hamlet, the 1996 film. Hostel. And Hostel Part 2. I know there's a Hostel Part 3. I've seen that one. Eh, it's, it's okay. The first two movies aren't great or an amazing movies or anything, but I don't know. I enjoyed those ones. They're fun to watch. Anyways, House of Sand and Fog. I Shot Andy Warhol. The Hours. Great movie. I Robot. I Heart Huckabees. I enjoyed this one, other than the director is a shithead. The Idiots. That's a funny movie. That one would make an interesting double feature with um, The Ringer. I'm Not There. Intacto. I think that is a Spanish film, I believe. Uh, Yeah, I think it is, actually. I haven't seen that one yet. In the Cut... In Dreams. Inside Man. I like to get this one on Blu-ray. Great Spike Lee movie. The Iron Giant. Another great movie. Irreversible. One of the most disturbing movies that I own. It's a good movie, but there is no chance in hell I'm ever going to watch this one again. But it is a great movie, but it's a pretty messed up movie at the same time. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And the last one for this row, Jackass the Movie. Hilarious. And that's it for the uh, third row. Now onto the fourth row. Now, on the fourth row, we got 
Jackass number two. The Jackass movies are fun. They're hilarious and they always crack me up. I don't own the other Jackass movies, but I will get those eventually. Anyways, The Jacket. Great thriller. I enjoyed that one. Joy. Jumanji. Classic. K-19, The Widowmaker. I believe this one's going to be getting a Blu-ray release here pretty soon, or has it been released already? I'm not sure, but I know that Kino Lober is going to be giving this one a Blu-ray release. Or I think it might have been Shout Factory. I don't remember. One of those two um, companies is going to be giving this one a Blu-ray release here pretty soon, or has it already been released? I'm not sure. The King's Speech. The kid, uh, Kids. That's a dark one. Very good movie, though. Lars and the Real Girl. Little Miss Sunshine. Love Object. This movie and Lars and the Real Girl would make an interesting double feature, if you ask me. They have a both pretty similar storylines, kind of. Only this one is a, a much darker, uh, much darker story. <laughs> But yeah, I actually enjoyed this one. This one was kind of underrated. Anyways, lovely and amazing. Life as a house. Last house in the woods. The last kiss. Layer cake. Leon me. Little children. The longest yards. The remake. Lord of War. Laws and Translation, I'd like to get that one on Blu-ray at some point. Great movie. The Man from Uncle. The Manchurian Candidate, the remake. I have the original on Criterion Blu-ray. May, I love that movie. That is a weird movie, though, but yeah, I love that movie. Marie Antoinette. Me, Myself, and Irene. Me and Krieg recently watched this one for the first time not that long ago. Uh, pretty good movie. I enjoyed that one. Mean Streets. I'd like to get the criterion of that one at some point. The Mexican. Monsters. I mean, Monster, I meant. Sorry. Uh, great movie. Million Dollar Baby. A really sad, but a really good movie, too. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The only Monty Python DVD that I own. Mountain, The Mountain Men. Mystic River. Munich, underrated Steven Spielberg. Martyrs, that's a dark movie. That's a French-Canadian film, too. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The Ninth Gate. And the last one for this row. Nail by Mouth, a really good but a really hard-to-watch film. Probably not one I'd ever watch again, but it is a really good movie. And uh, that's it for that row. And now we move on to the drawer here. I'm just going to move all these DVDs out of the way and then we'll get to it. So uh, just give me one moment. All right, so I took out the DVDs that were on top of these other ones here. Um, I have them in here because I can't fit them on all on the shelf here. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to pull them out. So I'll just take out these ones here first that are uh, right there. Uh, we got The Truman Show. That's another one I like to upgrade to Blu-ray. 13, great movie. That one, I'm surprised this one doesn't have a Blu-ray release. That's a really good movie. Racket Ralph, I'd like to upgrade this one to Blu-ray. I actually rewatched this one a while ago, and yeah, it's still a great movie. I have the sequel on Blu-ray, although the sequel is not nearly as good, though. The Thaw. Trumbo. Wayne's World. And Wayne's World 2, both pretty good, but mm, I don't know, they're not the best, but uh, they were still fun movies. Alright, in here we got the number 23. Oh. Open Your Eyes, which is the original film to um, Vanilla Sky, which I do have Vanilla Sky, but we'll get to that one here uh, shortly. Once. Outbreak, Panic Room, underrated David Fincher movie, Pecker, underrated John Waters, this movie was hilarious, that one's out of print too, and that one doesn't have a Blu-ray release yet, Pleasantville, great movie, Primer, 
other great movie. Shit. Uh, Pride and Prejudice, the 2005 film. Uh, the Ring. Shit. The first one. And uh, The Ring 2. And I also got Rings, The Circle of Fear is Growing, which was a bonus DVD that came with my copy of The Ring. Uh, the first one's good. The second one is, eh, meh. I know those ones recently got a 4K release from a uh, Screen Factory. I'd actually like to get that box set at some point. That box set looks pretty cool. Anyways, The Ringer. When the fuck did we get ice cream? That movie's hilarious. I enjoyed that one. Rogue. Road to Perdition. A.K.A. Paul Newman's uh, last movie. Great movie. Running Scared. The Running Man. The Rules of Attraction. Saved. That's a funny movie. Scream. I own the first one on DVD. I have uh, two, three, and four on Blu-ray. I need to get five and six at some point. Sexy Beast. The Secret Life of Bees. Spider. Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3. I'd like to upgrade those to Blu-ray. The Simpsons movie. Stigmata. I also have that one on VHS. Spaceballs. The Singing Detective. Summer of Sam. Underrated Spike Lee. I enjoyed that one. Smiley Face. Son of Rambo. Talk to Her. One of my all-time favorites. Surprisingly, this one still does not have a, a Blu-ray release. Like, where's the Blu-ray? I'm sure Criterion will give it a Blu-ray release maybe one day. I don't know. But that's a very good movie, though. And over here, we got Storm Warning. Sniper. Permanent Midnight. Stealing Beauty. Not the best movie in the world, but it was all right. Vanilla Sky, which is the remake to Open Your Eyes. Pretty good, but I like to open your eyes better, honestly. Horsemen. Rain Over Me. That's an underrated uh, Adam Sandler movie. One of his more serious roles. I actually really enjoyed that one. Let me just put these ones back really quickly. Anyways, right here we got... Uh, Waking Life, great movie. Another one that doesn't have a Blu-ray release. That one should definitely get a Blu-ray release at some point. Great movie. Uh, the Transporter. Team Wolf 1 and 2. Taking Lives. Signs. The Real Cancun. I don't know why I have that. And Swimming Pool. I actually enjoyed that one. That's a pretty good thriller. And uh, I just put these ones back really quickly. And now we move on to the ones that were on top of uh, those DVDs. I just put them on my bed. So I'll just show those ones really quickly. In no particular order, we got White Noise 2. I have the first one on VHS. The Orphanage. Reincarnation. We Were Soldiers. Waiting. Wrong Turn, the original. I actually recently picked that one up. Charlie Wilson's War. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. Sideways. Velvet Goldmine, one of my favorites. This one needs a Blu-ray release. Well, a re-release actually, because that's a great movie. It does have a Blu-ray release, but it's long out of print though. But yeah, great movie. I love that movie. The Hunted. I actually watched that one recently. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, the Visit. Eh, it was okay. Not one of Shyamalan's best. Uh, Trailer Park Boys, the movie. I'm a big fan of Trailer Park Boys. I have the sequels on Blu-ray. The Village. I didn't care for that one. Less Than Zero. Grizzly Man. Great documentary. The Talented Mr. Ripley. I actually watched this one for the first time the other day, and I actually thought it was pretty good. Much better than Saltburn, that's for damn sure. I didn't like Saltburn, honestly. 
What about Bob? That one's pretty funny. Heavy. Um, another hard to find one. I, I thought it was pretty good. One of Liv Tyler's first movies she acted in. Killing Zoe. Pretty good heist movie. It's no heat, but I thought it was pretty good. And the last one is uh, Sunshine. I actually watched this one recently, too, and I actually thought it was really good. And uh, those are the movies I own on DVD. Now let's move on to the TV shows that I have on DVD. All right, now we move on to my TV shows. So for TV shows, we got The Americans, Season 1, Season 2, Tight. Uh, season 3, Season 4, Season 5, and Season 6, the final season. Americans is a great show. I really, really enjoyed it. It's one of my all-time favorite shows. Hell, I think it might even be my favorite TV show of all time. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, if you haven't seen The Americans, definitely check it out. I highly recommend it. I wish they released the whole series on Blu-ray, but for some reason, only the first season's only available on Blu-ray. None of the other seasons are available on Blu-ray, but oh well. Anyways, next up we got American Crime Story Season 1, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Then we got Angel Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, the final season. Uh, I really enjoyed Angel. It's the spin-off series to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is right next which is next. Um yeah, I really enjoyed it. I actually just finished it recently. Although I like Buffy the Vampire Slayer better, but it was still a great spin-off series. Speaking of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, here's season one, season two, season three, season four. Season 5, Season 6, it's got tape there because I got this one used, and the last season, Season 7. I really enjoyed Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it's a great show, I think it might be one of my favorite shows. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, it was fun, and I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Next up, we got uh, Californication Season 1, Season 2, Season 3... Season 4, Season 5, Season 6, and Season 7. Uh, great show. It's pretty. It's really funny, and David Duchovny is great in it, too. Uh, next up is an incomplete series, but it's the first eight seasons of Curb Your Enthusiasm. We got Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4... Five, six, seven, and eight. I don't have any of the other seasons, and I just never got around to getting those. I also haven't watched any of the newer seasons that have been that have been released to, past uh, season eight. I don't know. I just haven't got around to watching those. Um, I'm definitely gonna think about rewatching this show soon because I really like Curb Your Enthusiasm, and I know they just ended it recently, and I know it had a really good ending. But I will get the rest of the series of Curb Your Enthusiasm eventually. But until then, I just have the first eight seasons. But yeah, great show. It's so funny. Next up, we got Dead Like Me, the first season, the second season, and the movie Life After Death. I haven't watched the movie yet, but uh, I liked Dead Like Me. It was pretty good. It's a shame that it was canceled after one season. I mean, two seasons. But yeah, it was it was pretty good. Next up, we got Dexter, the first season, second season, third season, fourth season, which is uh, probably my favorite season in the series. Season five, six, seven, and eight. I do have Dexter New Blood on Blu-ray. Dexter is a great show, though the first four seasons are definitely the best seasons. It kind of has its ups and downs after season four, and I wasn't a big fan of the last season, but ah, I liked it, though. I would like to upgrade the series on Blu-ray at some point. I'll definitely get the Blu-ray of it eventually. 
Anyways, next up we got The Hunger, the first season. Um, I actually just started watching this. It's not a bad show. It's an anthology series from like the late 90s. Um, it, it's not bad. I will get the second season eventually. Next up, we got Jackass Volume 2, Kenny vs. Penny Season 1, Nurse Jackie Season 1, Nurse Jackie Season 2, Nurse Jackie Season 3, uh, Season 4, 5, 6, and 7. I enjoyed that show. And next up, we have the complete series of Nip Tuck. We got Season 1. Season 2, Season 3, hold on a sec. Sorry about that, I just wanted to go see what my dog was barking at. It was nothing. Anyways, uh, I show Nip Tuck Season 3, here's Season 4, 5, Part 1, Part 2, and Season 6, the final season. It's a good show, I enjoyed Nip Tuck for, what it, for the most part. But I will say, it definitely went downhill after the third season. The fourth season was pretty good, but it wasn't nearly as good as the first three seasons. I didn't really care for season five. I thought season five dragged on for far too long. I don't know why the hell they split it into two parts. And I didn't really like the last season all that much. But all in all, I enjoyed Nip Tuck for what it was. But the first three seasons were definitely the best. Anyways, we got... The Offer, great miniseries, Robot Chicken Season 1, and Robot Chicken T Season 2, that show is funny, and then we got the complete series of Seinfeld, Seasons 1 and 2, 3, backwards, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's that. It's a funny show. And then we got Trailer Park Boys Seasons 1 and 2. Season 3. Season 4. 5. 6. 7. And the Christmas special, which is a bonus episode in Season 4. Well, I have the whole uh, showcase era of Trailer Park Boys. I don't have the Netflix DVDs yet, but I will get those of the Seasons 8 through 12. I... Just haven't got around to getting those yet, but I love Trailer Park Boys. It's one of my favorite shows. And the last TV show that I have on DVD is Wonder Shows in Season 1. And, uh, shit, whatever. And those are just some VHSs I have. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's my collection. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment below, subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and share the video with your friends. And, um, yeah. So anyways, that's all. So until next time, this is Keegan Shepard signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, take care, everybody. Peace out. Bye-bye.